Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw this tiger's eye. So let's get into it. First of all, you need a mechanical pencil for drawing the outlines, then a charcoal pencil, and then a mono zero eraser or a normal eraser. Then a dry brush for blending, and in an ink stylus if you have one. Let's get into it. First of all, draw a oval. I'll always use basic shapes to define the objects which I'm drawing and here I'm drawing an oval for the eye and then a couple of lines for the rest of the eyelids and other steps. So then we can develop the overall outlines around this. From here observation is very important so observe the picture carefully and then draw. And guys the next tip which I want to give you is don't try to copy and replicate each and every single details from the reference picture at this stage itself because you can do it down the line. And then friends, the rest of the fur and other stuff, you can do it, you can do it easily, so I just speed it up. Guys, in the next step, I'm going to be using an indenting stylus. If you don't have that, just use an empty ball one pen, it will work exactly in the same way. Friend, indenting could be one of the most useful techniques when you're drawing hairs or first, but it is very easy to overdo it. So, my advice would be keep it minimal, and always keep track on your pen treasure while drawing. You won't ruin the paper texture at the same time you don't overdo it. Now I'm using my soft charcoal pencil and darkening the outlines and the pupil. It is very easy to do so just believe in the step in the process. Make sure you are comfortable with the position drawing and the whole space itself and then start drawing. Because you need to be a bit more patient when you are drawing furs and hairs because you want to capture the realism and the flow of the hair to achieve that realistic effect. Friends here I almost completed darkening the outlines so let me get into the eye and start shading it. The one tip which I give in my each and every one of my tutorials is go from light to dark so that you, you have the freedom and the control over your drawing. And here as you can see I am darkening the sides a little bit and around the pupil too because in the reference image we have a little bit shadow around the eyes so there it is. And then friends grab your dry brush and start blending. Do it very slowly and gently because you don't want to rush at this process and don't worry about it getting too dark because you can lift some charcoal after doing this by using a normal eraser. And guys, please excuse me for a couple of the white dots which are fusing right here. You, this is not mandatory, but if you have one, just use it. Or you can use your correct, correction pen for this. Then friends, grab your charcoal pencil and start drawing the strokes. Strokes are the best technique which I have ever used to draw hairs or furs or anything related like that. I have seen lots and lots of artists who is using this technique. And I think most of us will be using the same technique which I'm using right now for drawing the hairs of hers. Observation is key. My tip on drawing with stroke technique would be go slow and observe the picture carefully about the flow and the direction of the hair or the fur and just start drawing it. According to me, you don't need any other tip anymore because if you can understand up to this, you will draw this image very easily or with a little bit of effort. It will take some try, so just be patient and trust the process and each and every single time try to improve a little bit than before. That's pretty much it, you'll have it. You can see me drawing the rest of the fur and I'll give a couple more tips on blending and bringing back some highlights on the furs at the end of this video so make sure to stick with the video and trust the process. And friends if you are trying this I'd love to see it so make sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll be so happy to see it.
And guys, I'm almost completed drawing the stroke so let me grab my dry brush and start blending it. Just blend it very softly in the direction of the hair itself so you'll get the natural feel of it. Please don't worry too much about blending. Keep the pressure very minimal and do it very softly so that you won't ruin anything. You might see you are covering some of the highlights which you wanted to keep but please don't worry at this stage you can always bring back the highlights by using a mono zero eraser or a normal eraser. At some extreme point you can use the white gel pen. See it's pretty easy. And guys here you can see me using a mono zero eraser for bringing back some of the highlights. You can also use an edge of a normal eraser or cut it down to get a sharp edge and use it exactly like same. But here I'm having the mono zero eraser so I'm using it. When I started this channel and for quite a long time I don't have this tool so I used the exact same method to draw and bring back some of the highlights. And few more retouches and that's pretty much it. If you like this drawing and the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family who might like to learn something new. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get a notification for my every videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, this is Vishwa.